what does human rights mean to you, Commissioner? Basically, if you look at human rights, it's something that's inborn in every individual as being a human being itself. Uh, it does not mean that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you infringe on other people's rights. We must understand that everyone has human rights. Swakam was formed by the Act of Parliament. And basically, if you look at uh, Swakam itself, it's not an NGO. Its role, basically, we have uh, a lot of role, among which is to promote awareness among uh, the people, not only the people, uh, enforcement and so on. And uh, the other thing is to investigate uh, into any violation of human rights. Uh, the other thing is to work on research, also to conduct on a public forum. For example, we have organized roadshows all over the country, including Sabah and Sarawak, where we bring awareness to the people, uh, where we educate them on the need uh, of their human rights. I think basically, if you look at it internationally, human rights is something that's uh, inborn. And that's the, the game of the day. And uh, the awareness itself, and the government cannot deny the fact that while implementing rules and regulations, there has to be check and balances. Uh, for example, we have now set up another one which is called the ICC to concentrate on international uh, affairs. And uh, apart from that, we have the complaint and uh, investigation group, education group, then we have the economic group, which is catering for the economic uh, situation, for example, the need of the elderly. And then uh, we have also other groups. We have educated, uh, for example, the police, uh, the prison officers, anti-corruption agency, which is called now called MACC. Uh, this education program has brought in a lot of changes as far as their work towards public. Children today know what their rights are. Parents know what their rights are. It's not so much as rights. It's also responsibilities because rights come with responsibilities. The greatest obstacle is uh, making people understand that uh, there's no such thing as absolute power. Whenever anybody does work, they must understand that uh, they have a social responsibility. Issues must be uh, based on, uh, merely basically on human rights. Today, it is not only Suhakam which is conducting program on human rights. We have NGOs, we have, for example, the enforcement agencies themselves inviting Swakam to conduct program for them. Today, the talk shows are great. They attract a lot of participants, a lot of uh, topics are discussed, a lot of human rights uh, issues are discussed. I mean, the level has been so great that it has led to uh, papers that are critical uh, news channels that have been uh, organizing programs on, uh, on rights issues have become very popular in Malaysia. I think the future plans would be more for uh, concentrating uh, on uh, developing the police force, the prison officers to be very pro-human rights and to educate them. Malaysians must understand that the rights come with responsibilities. They have also a major role to play today. And the basic problem that we face, for example, like freedom of assembly, and we live in a multiracial society today, and we have to understand people's culture, tradition, religion. And that's very vital because uh, uh, human rights doesn't mean that other people don't have rights. Uh, we must also respect their rights, their religion. For example, uh, if you look at like conversion issues, all these are uh, issues that affect other people's children. So we have to be very wise in determining and drawing the borders. While we understand that we have the rights, we must understand every Malaysian has the rights. Even non-citizens have the rights. Even refugees have the rights. So when you understand that, and you are able to discuss all problems over the table and settle it, Malaysia will be a peaceful country.